Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, collective, let's take a look at what, are you, what is your person's current feelings for you? Well, let's take a look at their current energy, actually. What is your person's current energy towards you? Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is this person's current energy towards the collective, whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. All right, here we go. What is their current energy towards the collective? We have the Six of Wands, could be a Leo for some of you. We also have the Star card. And we also have the Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. And here we have Nine of Pentacles. All right, their current energy towards you, Collective. So it does look like this person is asking themselves, you know, you know, could me and the Collective um, have a new beginning? Could we work out? Because we do have the ten, two of pentacles here. So they're, they're indecisive here about what actions they want to take towards you. Um, but with the star card, I do feel like they're hoping for some sort of positive um, change between you and them. Six of wands, the star, and the two of pentacles. We do have the Nine of Cups here, so I do feel like this person feels a very strong emotional connection with you, and they are looking at you like you are their desire right now. You are what they most desire right now. Hmm. They want to get something going with you because we do have two pages here, page of pentacles and the page of cups. So they want they want to initiate some sort of new beginning here with you or new start. Because the, the pages represent like being in the beginning stage of something, the beginning stages of something. So if this is a past person, this is like the beginning stages of a reconciliation with the start card. And if this is a new person, then the beginning stages of a new relationship. But they are um, indecisive about the potential of, of things working out between the two of you. They're hoping that things will work out, but they're not sure. They're trying to be confident with the Six of Wands, but they are, they're struggling to, to be confident uh, 100%. All right, let me clarify and then we'll move on. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let me clarify. Spirit, tell me about the Six of, no. What do I wanna look at? Tell me about the star, yeah. Tell me about the star and this person's current energy towards the collective, why the star? Why the star? We have the 10 of swords, okay. We also have the eight of cups. 
And we also have the Nine of Pentacles. So if this is a past person, I'm getting past person and new person energy. So I'm just going to have to go along with it because that's what's, that's what's showing up here. It's both. Both, of, both past person and new person energy is showing up. So if this is a past person, um, um, with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups, it does look like, you know, things came to an end between you and this person. Um, the relationship ended in a bad way. Somebody walked away with the Eight of Cups. And they're wondering if you're still mad at them. With the Nine of Pentacles. They're, this is them wondering, by the way. There's a lot of wondering. Okay, Star and the Two of Pentacles. You know, this is them wondering and like... Um, just kind of daydreaming about you currently. So they're wondering if you're still mad at them. They're, they're wondering if you care about them anymore, if you still have feelings for them anymore. They're wondering if you miss them. They're wondering if basically if the opportunity is still there for, for you two to come back together. Or to, yeah, to be together again. They're wondering if the opportunity is there. If you would be willing to do that, if you want to do that. If that okay, so that's a past person. And then if it's a new person, then this person is just, um, you know, they're reflecting uh, over their past about, you know, some sort of uh, ending, uh, failure that they went through in their past with a previous relationship. Um, they're single now with the Nine of Pentacles, and they're wondering if they're ready, you know? They're wondering if they're ready to, to start over with someone, you know, to, to have a new beginning with someone. They're wondering if, if they've healed enough, if they feel like they've healed enough to do that. Okay. Let's look at the two of Pentacles. They're very interested in you. They're very, very interested in you, though. Hmm. All right, tell me about the Two of Pentacles spirit and their current energy towards the collective. Why the Two of Pentacles? And their current energy. We have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Six of Cups. And we also have the Chariots. All right. So if this is a past person, they're definitely um, trying to figure out, should I say something? Should I communicate um, with the collective? Should I reach out? And the chariot card is also like taking action. Should I take action towards the collective? Um, because they are recognizing that if this is a past person, they're recognizing that they still have feelings for you, that they still have feelings for you, that they still want you, that they still, that well, that they miss you, that they miss the connection that you two used to have with each other and they want it back, but they're not sure if they should take any action towards you or not because they're a little bit scared of you rejecting them or of you, you know, ignoring them and, you know, not feeling the, not feeling the same way. Mm. And if this is a new person, this is someone who is recognizing that they feel a soulmate connection with you, that they feel a special connection with you and they do feel motivated to to take action towards you but they're they're a little bit indecisive they're a little bit indecisive if um about the potential basically all 
They're, they're also a little bit indecisive if you, um, if you feel the same way. Again, this is how they're looking at you, like the Nine of Pentacles. So they feel like you might reject them. And, you know, that doesn't feel good, obviously. So they don't want to take action if you're going to reject them. That's the thing. So they're trying to figure you out, kind of, basically. What is this Six of Wands? What is the Six of Wands in this person's current energy towards the collective? This person feels very emotionally drawn to you. Also spiritually drawn to you. Tell me about the Six of Wands and this person's current energy towards the collective. We have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Magician, and we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so the same energy. It's repeating. Yeah, I do feel like this person, again, they feel a very strong kind of um, spiritual connection, emotional connection with the Magician. I feel like they're very interested in manifesting a relationship with you but with the four of pentacles they are holding back they're not feeling 100 percent confident to do so all right i think i'm done here let me look at your energy now collective it's pretty straightforward okay all right Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of uh, the current energy of the collective towards this person. The current energy of the collective towards this person, please. There might be physical distance between you and this person. If so, that's something that they're also thinking about. They're thinking about potentially traveling to see you. All right. What is the current collective's energy towards this person? All right, here we go. The full collective is your energy towards them. We also have the three of wands. And we also have the four of, oh, the four of pentacles. Well, that's why they're holding back because they feel you're holding back. That's what's going on because you have the four of pentacles and then they have the four of pentacles. So it's like um, they're holding back because they feel like you're holding back. It makes them feel insecure. Did I say the signs? We have Leo and we have Aquarius and we have Capricorn. Uh, we also have Gemini and we, ha and we have Virgo and Cancer. Yeah, uh, Scorpio is there too. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, in regards to the current energy of the collective towards this person, we have the Lovers, we have the Queen of Swords, and we also have the Five of Cups. Queen of Wands is here as well. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Chariot, Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of resistance coming from your side, um, Collective. We have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This is definitely a lot of resistance here. This is a lot of like pushback, right? This is pushback energy. You're pushing them back. We do have the Five of Cups. So um, if this is a past person, it does look like this is someone who disappointed you and hurt you in the past. And because of that, you're very, very guarded. You're extra guarded now. Um, yeah, you're being extra guarded and extra protective of your heart. We do have the lovers here, which can represent a strong connection, a strong attraction. 
So some of you do still feel a lot of um, attraction and desire for this person. Or you just feel like a, a connection with them. But you're being logical with the Queen of Swords. You're being logical. You're thinking with your mind and not with your heart. It does look like you're kind of ignoring this person with the Fool card. It kind of feels like you're you're turning your cheek to them. Why do you have the Three of Wands though? I'm gonna clarify that one. Three of Wands. You know, the Three of Wands is kind of like um, when you're expecting something, you know? It's kind of a card of like expectation. So I, I kind of feel like you don't, you don't have any expectations, you know, when it comes to this person. Like you don't expect anything good to come from this person, you know? You don't expect anything good to come from them. You, would, you feel like it would be foolish to expect anything decent from them or to expect any, any truth from them. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at their intentions, but let me clarify this energy first. Um, let me look at the queen of Swords. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords in, in the collective's energy towards this person. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, please. Your energy definitely feels like it's rejecting them. Yeah. Which is what they were saying that they're scared of here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Collective's energy. We have the Sun, ooh, and the Knight of Cups, and the Devil. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you, you kind of feel like you know the truth about this person with the Sun and the Devil here. You feel like you know the truth about them. You feel like you've seen their true colors, you know? Um, before, Queen of Swords, Devil, and the Sun, you feel like you've already seen this person's true colors. Hmm. So when they come towards you, I feel like you're expecting this to happen. You're not expecting anything from them, but you are you are expecting or anticipating that they're that they're going to come towards you with this love bombing energy and you're already telling yourself not to believe it like you know you're already telling yourself that whatever this person comes comes towards you with is a lie and it's something that you that you shouldn't believe you shouldn't trust Like you're already preparing yourself to receive a lot of manip manipulation from this person. So this person has definitely ruined their reputation with you, is what I'm getting. And at this point, you just don't trust or believe anything that they come towards you with. Um, even if they come towards you with like sweet, romantic, loving energy, you know, charming, charismatic energy um, with the Knight of Cups, like it's it's like you you've trained yourself to resist that and to push back against that and to not believe it. Like you've trained yourself to emotionally detach. 
you know, because because the Queen of Swords is kind of like someone who who like talks to themselves and like um, coaches themselves, you know, they mentors themselves. So I feel like you've already mentored yourself. Mm hmm. Well, let's look at your feelings, though. Like, do you have any feelings? Because I don't feel like I'm seeing that. Let's see. All right, Spirit, tell me about the collective's um, feelings for this person. What's the collective's actual feelings for them? Yeah, I don't feel like your feelings are coming through here. I feel like you're... You have that on on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What are the collective's feelings for this person currently? True feelings. We have the Ace of Pentacles in your feelings collective. We also have the Four Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Tell me about um at the bottom of the deck. Uh, in your in the collective's feelings, we have judgment, six of pentacles, and the emperor. Okay, so you're you're kind of ice cold. Like I said, I feel like you've you you took your emotions and you put them in a treasure treasure chest chest. Sorry, and it's at the bottom of the sea. You know. If that makes if that makes sense, <laughs> you took your emotions, you put them in a treasure chest, and you and you threw it to the bottom of the sea. You sunk it. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Judgment, Six of Pentacles, and the Emperor in your feelings. Why do you have the Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Swords here in the collective's feelings? It's almost like, it's almost like, yes, um, yes, I would accept, you know, I would accept having a new beginning with this person or having a second chance with this person if, if they tell me the truth, if they tell me the truth. But, but because I know that's never going to happen, then, you know, a, a, a second chance is never going to happen either, you know? This is like you have a condition with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You have a very strict, you know, specific condition of, of what it's going to take to, to, um, to have a reconciliation or to have a second chance. And I feel like that condition is something about them telling the truth. But it's like you already know that this person's not capable of, of, of being honest, of telling the truth. So because of that, you're kind of just shutting down and you're not, right, with the Four of Pentacles. You're, you're shutting down and you're kind of blocking them, rejecting them. What is this Ace of Swords? It's like if, if only they would tell me the truth, then, you know, we could be a happy couple <laughs> with the Six of Pentacles and the Judgment card. We could be a happy couple together. And you would be, you would be on board with that. You would be on board with that. But it's with that condition, you know. What is this Ace of Swords about, Swear? And the collective's feelings? The Page of Wands, okay, same thing. The Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Oh, okay. Well, that too, right? That's, the, that's another condition here. The, they have to tell you the truth. They have to be honest with you. And they also have to um, offer a commitment, right? Ten of Pentacles, a long-term commitment, long-term relationship, you know? That's, that's your condition as well. They have to want uh, a real commitment to come out of this. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time with the Four of Pentacles. Otherwise, you would rather just be alone, you know? 
you would rather just not waste your time and, and be alone and, 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 and be in your own company because you're fine being in your own company with a full car. You're perfectly fine being in your own company. So you're kind of in this energy of I'd rather be alone than be um, in bad company. Or, you know, then be with someone who's, who's just going to waste my time and, you know, play around with me. I'd rather be single, if that's the case, right? Nine of Pentacles, single. Hmm. So those are your feelings. Okay. Um, I wanted to clarify the fool real quick. What time is it? 25. Okay. Tell me about the fool connected to the collective. Tell me about the fool spirit. Knight of Cups. Okay. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Ooh, you see? Look at that. Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You're only here for a commitment. If it's not a commitment, then you're not here. You know, you're not here. You're you're gone. You're non you're non-existent. Pretend I don't exist, basically. I feel like that's what you're saying here. I feel like you're saying, pretend I don't exist. If it's not for something serious and, and, a, commi and a commitment. Okay. I think I'm done here. Let's go to your person and see what their true intentions are. Yeah. Okay. I mean, are you, st they're asking themselves, if you, they're wondering if you're still angry or upset. I mean, I guess so. I think so, yeah. I think so. I mean, maybe not necessarily that you're angry or upset, but more, but like you're over it, you know? I feel like you're just, you're over it. All right. Spirit, what are this person's true current intentions with the collective, please? What are this person's true current intentions with the collective? Let's get one shuffle here. All right. What are this person's true current intentions with the collective? All right, in their intentions, we do have the magician here, which did come up for them over here, magician. All right, tell me more. What are their intentions with the collective? The temperance card. So they want to manifest something with you and they want to heal things with you, temperance. Tell me more. What are their intentions with the collective? And the eight of cups. At the bottom of the deck in regards to their intentions, we have the nine of pentacles, the page of cups, and the king of swords. Oh, look at that. You showed up as the Queen of Swords, and now they're showing up as King of Swords. So there is a soulmate connection here. Yeah. There's a soulmate connection here between the two of you, Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is a true match, a true pair. Hmm. A very cerebral connection. Mental connection. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So in their in regards to their intentions, this person feels like they know you. I don't know why they are getting that. They feel like they know you. I don't know what that means. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So they feel like they know your mind. They know what you're thinking and they know what you're feeling. And they're not intimidated, apparently. That's what it says, collective. 
It says it says that they're not they're not intimidated. They feel like they can manifest something with you. I mean, they did show up here that they they felt worried with the two of pentacles. So what do you mean you're not you're worried but you're not intimidated? I don't know what that means. They're worried but they're not intimidated. Okay, so it's almost like they're worried that you're going to reject them, but they feel like even though you might reject them, according to them, they feel like you still want them, you still have feelings for them, and eventually you'll, you'll come back around to them. Or like eventually you'll accept them back. They're worried that you're going to reject them this time um, in, in, this, in this specific moment because they don't want to go through work, right? They don't want to go through work. But they know that, but they're still going to do it because <laughs> it kind of looks like if you were to reject them, they're still going to persist. They're, they're still going to persist on on trying to, you know, have a, a reconciliation, basically, because we have the temperance card here. So this is kind of like someone who wants to reconcile with you. Page of Cups and the temperance card. They're going to keep trying. They're expecting you to kind of make it hard for them, make it difficult for them. They're hoping that they can successfully, you know, bring things, bring this relationship back together, you know, without having to try again. But even if they were to have to try again, they feel like at some point they'll, they'll get what they want. At some point you'll, you'll give in to them. Okay. Tell me about this King of Swords energy, Spirit. Clarify the King of Swords energy and this person's intentions with the collective. Okay. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Mm. Okay. Tell me about the King of Swords. And their intentions, Ace of Swords and the Emperor. Jeez, this person is very confident. Hmm. It says that they're willing to fight for you. I don't know what the deal is with this person, but it, it says that they're willing to fight for you. Emperor, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands. Um... This is like a mental battle. Let me see. Like 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 one up like two people that one up each other. I don't feel like you play games with this person though. Tell me about the emperor to the ace of swords, 6 of wands, 7 of wands and the king of wands. Yeah, I told you this person is definitely planning on fighting for you. King of wands and the 7 of wands. This is them fighting for you. Again, we have a true pair um, situation here. King and Queen of Wands together. They feel like they know your weaknesses. They feel like they know, like they know what they have to do. Again, they're very confident with the Six of Wands. Where does this person get all this confidence from? Let me see how they're looking at you. They're looking at you as nine. Tell me about how this person is looking at the collective with the nine of pentacles spirit. Hmm. This person feels like you two are meant to be together. Six of cups. This is how they're looking at you. Look at that soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate and they feel like you two are meant to be together. And they feel like it's just a matter of time. 
Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles and how they view the collective. Death and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like it's going to take time or like they're anticipating that it's going to take time with the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to be like slow progress, but they feel like they can achieve progress with you. And they're they're planning for that. They're planning on achieving progress. Um, apparently with the death card, they've changed. Mm. They're claiming that they've changed. And they know that you're not going to believe them, but they're just going to give you time. And I, I feel like this person is basically going to um, show you, basically, through their consistency with you that they're interested in rebuilding this relationship with you. Okay. What is this magician? What is this person trying to manifest spirit with the magician card? What is this person trying to manifest with the magician card? With the collective? What are they trying to manifest with the collective? The Empress. Uh, true pair again. This is the third time. Now we have the Empress and we have the Emperor. Okay, so they're trying to manifest you, the Empress. Male or female doesn't have to be a woman, but they're trying to manifest you, the Empress, because they feel like this is divine. They feel like you two are divine counterparts, and you're, you two are divinely meant to um, coexist with each other in a relationship. Interesting. What's over here? Ten of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what what the history is between you two because you don't have a good outlook on them at all. But the the way you're looking at them is not exactly how they're presenting themselves, and that's what they're claiming. They're claiming that they're not the same person. That they've they've learned some lessons. And they've changed and they, they're, they're seeing you in a different perspective and they're seeing this relationship in a different perspective. And they feel like it's worth, it's worth working for. Because it's like they're looking at you like you're, you're as good as it's ever going to get for them. Like... No one's ever going to like top you. No one's ever going to be better than you. So they feel like there's not, there's nowhere else to look, you know? Okay. Like there's no use looking for anybody else or like looking for any other option. They feel like there's no use for that with that. Okay, collective. So I hope this reading um, helped you in some way. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.